vulnerable man meets decisive woman, the Sussex's marriage predicted to fail within three years. A royal photographer who photographed Princess Diana for years admitted he did not think Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's marriage would last. Kent Gavin, who was friends with the late Princess of Wales, has shared his first impressions on the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex's love story. Meghan Markle, 39, and Prince Harry, 36, married in May 2018 in St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. But after the couple announced their engagement, Mr. Gavin was convinced the couple would not make it as far as they have. He told a source, when it was announced that Harry was going to marry Meghan, I said to my colleagues and a few people, I don't give that marriage three years. Harry and Meghan recently celebrated their third wedding anniversary as they expected their second child, Lilibet Diana. According to royal expert Tom Quinn, Meghan makes the decisions in the relationship as Harry is quite vulnerable. The royal author compared Meghan to Wallace Simpson, an American socialite who married Prince Edward. In the Channel 5 documentary Meghan at 40, the climb to power, Mr. Quinn said, Mrs. Simpson was a strong, dominant woman who gave Edward VIII everything his mother hadn't given him, he was vulnerable just as Harry is vulnerable. If a man who is not very decisive meets a very decisive woman or the other way around they often get on very well because one makes the decisions and the other one goes along with it. Meghan and Harry work because Harry is quite a vulnerable person who only lived in this gilded cage, he's not very worldly. Meghan makes things happen. Meghan makes the decisions. Even Harry said famously, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets that says it all. The couple stepped down as senior members of the royal family in March 2020. They later moved to Montecito in California, where they currently live with their two children. Last month Prince Harry announced he will release a memoir next year, vowing to give an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. He explained that the book, to be published by Penguin Random House, will be written not as the prince he was but as the man he has become. Meghan Markle got everything she wanted while Prince Harry has made sacrifices according to a royal expert. Duncan Larcombe claimed Meghan Markle has way more than she could have dreamed of while Prince Harry has given everything up. The royal commentator also told a source the Duke of Sussex's anger is flowing out every single day as he continues to fire shots at the royal family. Mr. Larcombe, former royal editor at The Sun, said, look at the evidence, Meghan has got everything and way more than she could have ever dreamed of. Prince Harry has given up everything, he is angry and he is letting his emotions flow out every single day. I think there has to be a point where someone says Harry sort your stuff out with Meghan and enjoy this life you have chosen but stop having these open heart surgery sessions on the internet. It is not the right place for it. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals in March 2020. Last week Gail King, a friend of the Sussexes, told royal fans to stop blaming Meghan Markle for Prince Harry wanting to leave the royal family, stating the Duke considered leaving the monarchy in his early 20s. Gail King, Anthony Mason and Vladimir Duthiers discussed Prince Harry's latest explosive remarks on the Armchair Expert podcast. Ms. King stated that people should stop blaming Meghan Markle for the Duke of Sussex leaving the royal family as it was clear he had considered walking away from the monarchy in the past. Mr. Duthiers said, I found it so interesting that Prince Harry went on the podcast which celebrates the messiness of life. And that he would be so frank, is the word I would use. Mr. Mason replied, he said it is a lot of genetic pain and suffering that gets passed on and that his father treated him the way he is was treated. Considering he was just home visiting with his family, I find it very interesting that he decided to put all of this on the table. Mr. Duthiers said, and he thought about doing all of this when he was in his 20s, leaving the royal family. Miss King replied, because of what he said happened to his mother. Many people have tried to say that Harry is talking this way and feeling this way because of being married to Meghan Markle. He made it clear in that podcast that he has been thinking this way since his early 20s.